Hello everyone, it's Mrs. S. Stock. I'm going to go ahead and walk you through how to add Reflection 3 to your digital portfolio. So if you have Reflection 2, the easiest way to do this would be to come over to the two squares and just hit duplicate sec section. And then you can basically just go and switch out everything that you have here. Um, I'm gonna actually add it without duplicating just so that I can show you how to do that in case you don't have reflection too. You want to go ahead and come over here to the layouts and you can see there's one here with the picture and the paragraph and the title. So go ahead and pick that one and then we're just going to need to edit it a little bit. So we want to drag the photo box a little smaller and then also drag the um, text box is a little bit wider. The reason we want to do this is because we don't want to have a big gap. Um, between these two boxes. The next thing you're going to do is you can see that there's a space underneath the photo and the outside of this box. So you want to go ahead and double click in that space. And we need to add actually two more photos. So go ahead and add another one. If you have your photos already uploaded, you can just go ahead and add them that way. This is not the photo that I'm going to use, but I'm going to go ahead and put it there. And then Again, make sure you're resizing your pictures. Um, if you need to zoom in on it a little bit so that it fills the box better, you can double click. And you can resize the image, you can drag it around. Uh, make sure to crop out any extra space. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go ahead and double click in that small spot underneath the picture and go ahead. And I'm just gonna drop in the same picture. I'll swap these out later, but I just wanna show you the basics on how to do this. Again, double click, resize, place your image directly in the center of the box. And then another, you have this empty box, you can just click the plus, select image, and my stuff's not showing up in my recent. I did just download it, but I'm gonna go ahead and go to my drive, so I know where to find it here. And there's my woven bowl. Insert. All right. And the last thing that we need to do is make sure that we have a caption. Um, you can go ahead and put the caption underneath your final piece. So these would be my progress pictures down below. So I'm going to put my caption here. And you want to put title. Make sure title, the word is capitalized. And size, also capitalized. So title, colon. So woven bowl, and then the size, make sure that you um, get the measurement. So this is eight, eight inches. You can use either the quotation for inches, or you can spell out the word inches. And then I just use an X for by, and then this is about nine and a half inches wide. As you guys can tell, I'm still haven't gotten any better at typing during all of this distance learning. <laughs> oh, there we go. All right, perfect. So there's my dimensions. So eight inches by nine and a half inches. Okay, and down here would also go that your other two progress pictures. Okay, I did not take my progress pictures because I was demonstrating. So I will pop some of those in later. All right, so the next thing, we want to change our title. So this is going to be Reflection 3 and Woven, you can call it Woven Project, Woven Bowl, whatever you prefer. And then here is where you would go ahead and copy and paste in your reflection once it has been edited. So I'm going to right click and choose Copy or I can also select it all and hold down the control plus the C key. Come over here and right click and make sure you hit paste as plain text. You can also, if you don't have a mouse, you can tap on the mouse pad with two fingers and that will also right click. You also wanna get rid of any extra spaces. All right, so there I have my reflection, I have my title, I have my final picture with my caption underneath, and then these would be your two progress pictures here. So like I said, I will swap those out and give you an example. Make sure that you publish when you are done. 
Um, this is kind of a new thing for those of you who are in ceramics two and three. You probably don't remember this happening before you, but you've seen it quite a few times now this semester is it shows you a, a draft of what it used to look like and then it'll show you um, the differences. So it'll just say it's not published. I usually skip this and just hit publish. You need to make sure that you hit publish every time so that your changes go live and then make sure that you screenshot. So come back to your reflection and you would just hold down the um, control key plus the key above the number six, which looks like two squares if you're using a Chromebook. So I'm going to go ahead and screenshot. And then I would scroll down to make sure that I get the rest of my reflection. You need to turn in all of it. So if you need to turn in more than one image, make sure that you do that. Your screenshots on a Chromebook should show up down here and they will go automatically into your um, Google Drive so that you'll be able to upload those to Google Classroom. All right, so I will make sure that I post this as well as fix these so you'll be able to see an example of what your final reflection should look like. If you have any questions, um, make sure that you ask in class. I will see you soon.